Hey guys, good morning. It is <clears throat> pretty early, like nine o'clock. No, almost 10. <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking, so it's not that early. But I am actually going to pick up my grandma. Well, I'm putting gas right now for 204 a gallon. And I'm going to pick up my grandma because she has a appointment for her vertigo that she went to the hospital for several months ago. And it's all the way in Stone Oak, which is about 20, 25 to 30 minutes away from me. So I um, have Emmy with me and we're probably just gonna make like a little shopping day out of it. My grandma is, her appointment's like three hours long. So she's like, no, you guys don't wait with me. Go have lunch and go this and go that. So um, I just, I would stay with her if it was just me. But I don't think Emmy will last for three hours in a doctor's office. So we're gonna go do that, drop her off, make sure she gets where she needs to go. And then I'm probably gonna take um, Emmy to go. She really, she desperately needs some shoes. Go find some shoes, Payless is having a sale. And then we're gonna go to Bath and Body Works because they're having their semi-annual sale. Woo -woo. And I don't know from there, we'll see. 204 a gallon, it cost me 33.60 to fill up. What's gas like around where you guys live? Because this is higher than it was. It had got down all the way to like 150s, 160s. And now, I mean 204 is still super cheap because not last summer, maybe a year and a half ago, it was like almost $4 a gallon. So I'm really not complaining, I'm just curious. So we're leaving Costco, dropping my grandma. And I came to Costco because they sent us a letter saying, well, I needed to return some salsa that went bad before the expiration date. But they sent us a letter saying that, I don't know, I guess some of their frozen vegetables were possibly had listeria in them. Freaking great. We probably already ate them because we don't have any Costco vegetables left in our freezer. And none of us are sick, so hopefully that stays the case because this was dated, I mean, months ago that some of their vegetables supposedly were infected. So I just got 50 bucks back from Costco for vegetables that we already ate and didn't get sick from. Can't complain. Yeah, so I'm definitely not gonna complain. That's cool. I mean, they pretty much paid for my Bath and Body Works trip or a couple pairs of Emmy shoes. Um, I mean, you know, I, I thought maybe it was like, one, we t ended up tossing a quarter of a bag of the organic mixed vegetables and all the rest of them we had eaten already. So I was like, well, I think I just came back, came since I was in the area, cause this Costco's not, the other Costco's closer to me, the one off of Hebner and I-10, or not, I it's off I-10. So we typically go to that one cause that's like 15 minutes down the road, not a big deal, right? So we go to that one, never have an issue with anything. I just so happened to be in Stone Oak today for my grandma, came to this Costco. They were really pleasant here, no problems at all. Returned the mango salsa, which was like five bucks. <laughs> it wasn't a big deal. Um, returned that and then I was like, oh, and by the way, I got this letter. She's like, yeah, let me look up the vegetables on your account. And before you know it, she's like, oh, you had four broccoli, you had a Normandy, you had an organic vegetable, and 50 bucks later, I was like, okay then, <laughs> works for me. So needless to say, we won't be buying vegetables here for a couple of months. Uh, we'll just stick to the regular grocery store. So now, I have to figure out where I am and find a pay less. I may just have to go to the mall, which North Star's not that far from here. Maybe my grandma still has like probably two and a half hours, so I could definitely go to North Star and make it back. And I may just do that. That way I can go to Bath and Body Works and there's a pay less there and there's a food court there too for lunch so okay we'll see you in a bit so i actually found a bath and body works that was not in the mall it took me a little while to get here because my gps took me to bed bath and beyond first but <laughs> we're here so let's check out this semi-annual sale yeah, it does smell okay. good Yeah, you want to get a bag? Mm -hmm. This must be all the new stuff. I haven't been here in a really long time. I got a bag. You want to hold it for me? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. And which one do you want me to pick? Please? 
Well, no, don't grab anything yet. I'm just looking. And then if you want one, I can grab it for you. Okay, mommy. Okay. If it's high, then you get it. Okay, sounds good. No, those are for candles. Can I smell mommy? Yeah. Yeah. It smells great. It smells good, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Smell this one. We open it. Don't drop it, it's heavy. It smell. Oh yeah, that one smells good too. Mm-hmm. It smells like Mmm. Really that one smells good. What about Paris? No, <laughs> that one's not good. Ugh, that one smells like flowers. This one smells pretty. Yeah, that one smells like men's cologne. Okay. Let me smell it. <laughs> not bad. That's good, right? <laughs> so it looks like they don't have the two packs anymore. They have them individually, $3 a piece, which is actually better, because if you want different scents, you can get them. So that was a quick trip to Bath & Body Works. It was probably trip number one of like two or three, because I definitely want to get more wallflowers and a few other things. I'm pretty stocked on body sprays, lotions. I need to ch double check my stash. I knew I needed hand soaps and wallflower plugins, because I just plugged in wallflowers today, and I pretty much wiped out my stock. So. I knew I needed that, um, but I'm gonna try and see if my mom got a coupon, if Andres gets a coupon in the mail, cause they're both registered, and then if I could find a coupon online, cause I'm not going, the deals are good, but using the 10 off of 40 coupon, I ended up getting the soaps for right over $2 a piece, and same thing with the wallflower bulbs. So that's super cheap, um, considering, you know, their original cost, so um, yeah. Did that, I will have a Bath and Body Works haul up on my beauty channel. I think the semi-annual sale is for like three or four weeks, so I'll try and do it before the end, before the end of the semi-annual sale. So look for that on my beauty channel in the next few weeks. But now we are at Michael's because it just so happens that there's a Michael's right across the little area from Bath and Body Works. So I'm gonna see if they have the recollections planners that I was looking for and thanks to you guys a bunch of you were telling me they are personal size so they are going to be smaller so I just want to get one and check it out and see um, what they look like and how they work and stuff like that but I need to see if I have a coupon first display is right up front Ooh, they have pink yes so I think this is the pink one that I want to get but they also have this light pink one. I kind of like the blue and the mint too. They also have these inserts, like the January to December insert. Right now I have this one, but this one's kind of pretty too. But they have a lot. Maddie's, I mean, Emmy's finding Matt animals for Maddie. <laughs> I found Peppa Pig. Can we um, get them, Mommy? No, she doesn't need a Peppa Pig. That's very sweet of you though, thank you. Well, can we get a little animal for the new baby? Hmm, maybe another time. We don't know if the baby's gonna be a girl or a boy yet. Okay. okay. Awesome, that's the first Michaels that I've been to that has let me do two different transactions when I don't have two separate coupons. So I told her I had the coupon on the on just the Michaels website. I was like, can I do two transactions? I ask every time, even though they always tell me no. She was like, yeah, but you can only do two. I was like, that's all I care about, thanks. So I got both things for the price of the Recollections Planner. I'm so excited, and there's a Payless right up the way there. This couldn't have worked out better. No, we're gonna go to Payless, keep going. Yeah, it's right there. You like those? Just got in the car from Payless. It's freaking hot out here. What possessed me to wear this cover up? I have no idea. It's really thin and lightweight, but I'm hot. <laughs> um, but anyway, just left Payless and I spent $36.97. I got four pairs of shoes, a pair of earrings, and a pair, like a set of five headbands. 
really really good deal. I mean $37 even for four pairs of shoes is awesome that's less than $10 a piece but on top of that I got the earrings and the headbands I mean it was a really good deal and it was because everything was on sale and then I also had a 40% coupon that they mailed me so I cannot beat that now it's 105 my grandma should be out of her appointment pretty soon so we'll probably just go wait for her and then I think she wants to grab lunch on the way home so we'll do that I got everything today accomplished what I needed to get accomplished the only other thing I need to do is get Emmy a 4th of July shirt because I think she still has a skirt that will fit her from last year and I typically get their stuff from Walmart like the sets that's five dollars a piece five dollars for a shirt five dollars for pants because they only wear it one time although Emmy wore her fourth of July shirt several times throughout the year <laughs> but um they only wear it one time and I bought Maddie a dress at Walmart yesterday for five dollars that's basic I mean really like red white and blue she can wear white shorts underneath it and it'll be perfect five dollars can't beat that but they don't in the same area where they have the five dollar section they don't have anything in Emmy size anymore because she's a six six x now and that puts her in the big girl area and the big girl area doesn't have fourth of july stuff so that's the only other thing i need to find but we have almost a month to do to do that so not a big deal at all Hey guys, so we are home. Obviously, I have little one. Oh, I'm tired. Like, yes, you go play, okay? While mommy makes papa. I am so tired. I don't know if I just didn't get enough sleep last night, or no, you're not gonna have those, or what? But I am straight up exhausted. Like. I almost fell asleep on the couch and the girls came up to me and was like, Mommy, Mommy. I was like, oh God, I need to wake up. <laughs> it felt like how I felt at the beginning of my pregnancy. So Emmy and I had a very late lunch with my grandma. Right around 3.30 or so we ate at um, Golden Corral, which is like a, an American buffet. And um, it just was a lot of food, so I'm just gonna give her a snack and then make Maddie. Yes, we're gonna have yogurt with strawberries and make Maddie some actual food because I really want to go upstairs. Like I wish it was their bedtime <laughs> so I could go to sleep because I'm the best is working tonight and their bedtime is um not right now because I wish it was trust me leave the doggies alone please so anyway I'm gonna make dinner and then hopefully it's 5 15 hopefully um get them to bed soon because I'm tired so we moved ourselves upstairs because I would no let her get it I was falling asleep <laughs> so after the girls ate and well Emmy just had like a large snack because she had a really she ate just as much as I did at the buffet it's crazy so anyway I bought these blankets from Walmart a long time ago I bought a princess one pink on pink and then I mean that one let me see it let me see it baby. this one's frozen Elsa and Anna with like a teal and essentially they're cut out felt fabrics not felt is it felt fleece fleece and I have one of these that I made Emmy actually has a Dora one that she that I made her when she was like two years old that's up in her closet but I thought I would get each of the girls one so they could have them downstairs because I have one that I made myself years ago downstairs that I use all the time on the couch and they're constantly trying to take it so this was I think like 10 or 15 dollars for the set and all you have to do is just get a good pair of scissors cut out a piece on the edge in each corner and then tie um cut fringe into it and then tie them together and that's it so i'm gonna try and get both of the girls done tonight just so i can stay awake before they go to sleep because i don't even know what time it is but it's probably not even it's six so i think oh those are dangerous thank you so i think we could get them done so let's see okay so it literally took me five minutes to cut a side of this and now what I'm doing is taking the two pieces here, 
So it's two different pieces of fleece and I'm taking them and I'm just literally tying them into a double knot. And then it gives you this cute little pattern here that keeps the blanket together. Pretty easy. Ducky says goodnight to the What? Get off of there! Get off of there. Thank you. Say goodnight. So I'm lying in bed. The girls are asleep. I let, I tucked both of them in at the same time because Maddie was already like off the deep end. So I think she was in bed by like 7.15. And Emmy, I put, I tucked her in bed at 7.15. But I let her watch TV up until, I don't know, a little while ago. It, well, probably like 20, 30 minutes ago. Just because it's unrealistic of me, especially now that she's not, she's out for summer and she's not really going to have like a full day. Most days, it's unrealistic of me to expect her to go to bed at the same time Maddie does. Because before she was waking up at 6 o'clock in the morning to go to school, she had a full day without a nap. And if... If I let her, she would come home and take a nap <laughs> before or when she got out of school. So now I let her stay up a little bit later. Not too late, though, because she's still an early riser. And I don't want her waking up in the morning early and then needing a nap throughout the day or something, especially if I have stuff I need to do. So I let her stay up maybe like an hour, hour and 20 minutes after Maddie. And I just got done editing, I'm uploading the vlog. It's very, very short, and I'm so sorry that it was so short yesterday. For you guys, I literally just was not feeling good. And actually today, even though I've tried to kind of go about my day, I really haven't been feeling good all day either. I've had like a slight headache for the last two or three days that has not gone away with eating, sleep, medicine, nothing. So it definitely has been very bothersome to me. I'm not seeing spots or, you know, blurred vision or anything like that. I'm not dizzy, so I don't think it's my blood pressure. I'm thinking just in general it may be not getting enough sleep because I wake up constantly throughout the night. And then I'm the type of person that if I wake up in the middle of the night, it takes me forever to fall back asleep. And it's just a routine that has been happening for, oh, I feel like, days now. Or, I mean, weeks and months now, so pretty much since I've been pregnant. And it's probably just because I'm an awful side sleeper in general. So, I don't know. And then I've just had, like, sharp pains and pressure and stuff. And I don't remember experiencing this this early on in my pregnancy with Maddie. So, it definitely is something new for me and not pleasant. And then today, my right hip was hurting so bad. I thought it was going to pop out of its socket. And I think that's just from overdoing it at the zoo. I didn't feel like I did that much, but I it has to be because I can't imagine why it would hurt this bad, why there'd be any other reason why it would hurt this bad, I don't know. So hopefully today's vlog compensated because I'm sure this today's going to be a long one because I vlogged quite a bit today. Um, so I'll let you guys go here. I am watching The L Word, which is on Netflix. I don't know when it got on Netflix, but I loved that show when it first came out. And I haven't watched it in years. It stopped playing in 2009. So that's probably been how long it's, it's been since I've seen it. So I am definitely going to be binge watching it on Netflix. So if that's the show you're into, go check it out. Anywho, I'm going to do that. Wait for my invited to get home and probably just hit the sack. So I hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you tomorrow. Bye.